Hey guys, what's up? Let's do this video on why it is that CVT transmission issues is such a mystery to like, to like mechanics and Nissan and going on Google, doing the searches and stuff like that. It's just such a weird thing that it's, it's such a big issue. It's such a big issue as far as the transmission is concerned, yet, yet, why is it that it's so hard to find information on it? So originally when my car went into safe mode and limp mode, had to whine and stuff like that, I actually went on Google to do some searches on it. All right, when initially when it happened, when I was driving 80 miles per hour and it's, it had started happening, it scared me. It was like the weirdest thing ever because I didn't know what what limp mode, what limp mode was, what what issues, what those things were. Limp mode, safe mode, stuff like that. I didn't even think transmissions could do that because I didn't know anything about CVT transmissions. I didn't know about you know issues that come with it and stuff like that. So, funny thing is, I went to, I had my car checked out by a couple of mechanics, told them the issues. Now, these were not Nissan mechanics, they're not dealership mechanics. These are like mechanics at regular garages and stuff like that. And I, and I asked them questions like, hey, um, listen, this is, this is the symptoms of what happened um, with my car. Like, uh, you know, when I was driving on a freeway, uh, I was driving 80 miles per hour for like 30 minutes or whatever. And for whatever reason, it started decelerating to like to like 60 miles and all the cars were passing me by and I had to get all the way to the right lane and uh, hoping that it wasn't something that would break down on me um, on the spot and uh, you know and it corrected itself afterwards so I explained this to like so many different mechanics and and guess what guess what I get from that Here's what I get from that. Hey, um, you're kind of that. That sounds kind of funny because I'd never heard of it. That's what I got from it, from all these mechanics. It wasn't like, hey, um, your car went to safe mode, or hey, listen, that's called um limp mode, you know, because uh, your transmission, um, your your transmission has a computerized system that actually puts it into a certain mode if if, if it gets if the engine oil gets too hot. So it was like the weirdest thing to it was like the weirdest thing to me trying to explain this to not just one mechanic but like a bunch of mechanics. Uh, every time I had my car get repaired for something, and they would just look at me with a strange look, like I was making up the story. It was like the weirdest thing. But it just seems to me that this whole safe mode limo thing should be like a really big knowledgeable thing to everybody at this point because these CVT transmissions like they're all over the roads with all these cars and everything and it, it's still like a big mystery as far as people who fix cars and 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 people and and everybody else who's driving it I mean that should there should be a stamp on the on the on the manual that comes with it or a little first page thing that says if, if your car you know does this blah 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 you know if, if your car stalls or, or, or slows down to a certain um, speed uh, after after you hit a certain mark or whatever and these symptoms occur it's because your car is in safe mode and you need to either you know have it checked off a mechanic or just you know drive to the side park it for like 15 30 minutes and then drive it again and your car should be okay because your or your in your transmission oil is overheating. I mean that should be the case, but considering we're in like 20, 2017 and there's you know most cars these days have CVT transmissions in them, and you're driving around and that doesn't come up. It doesn't come up where. Where, where people are knowledgeable about the situations of CVT transmissions, issues and stuff like that as far as safe mode, limp mode, changing the, even even like changing the, the transmission oil on the car. That's like a weird thing where 
where I had to do a ton of research to find out that on CVT transmissions, you actually need to trans change the transmission fluid, you know, within like 80,000 miles. I had to do some research on that. I went to Google, did some research on it, um, and I still, I had to do a ton of research to actually find find out that answer that that you know if 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 the issue comes up where your engine is whining you need to change the the um the transmission fluid or if you know when your car gets to about 80,000 miles on the odometer you need to change the transmission fluid because if you don't what happens is your transmission is going to break down and that should be like one of the most obvious thing that on, 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 the, on the Nissan manual. That should be like common knowledge at this point, considering most cars out there um, are um, are equipped with CPT transmissions. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous that, that, that it, it's still such a mystery these days as far as how to ma maintain or, 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 or maintenance the uh, CPT transmissions on, on these cars.